All right, we're going to go back to live coverage. Now you're looking at live pictures, and there is the second fire, uh, which was brought about by this second plane that hit the tower. And Don, from everything I can see, it was the same tower that was hit the first time, right? No, it's the second tower. It's it is the other the, tower. It is the other tower that was hit. My so mistake. They, they targeted it. From, your, from what I'm seeing on the television, from your view, they are the, they, the two towers are, are in, one is in front of the other one. But it was definitely the second tower that was hit about halfway down, not quite as high. And from my view here, it does not seem to be as, as big, as much damage as the original. It, it, I don't know if that means it was not as big a, a plane or what. I did not see the plane go in, but it's, I mean, it's horrendous damage. But it doesn't seem to be the gaping hole through two sides of the building like on the, on the first one. Don, from your vantage point, can you see if there are people coming out down below? I'm, I, I can't see the, uh, the bottom of the base of the buildings. There's the wider shot of the two towers. Now, both towers have been hit by planes now in the last half hour. And again, I say we are, we are totally powerless in knowing what's going on here, except that it would obviously appear this is, it can't be a coincidence like this. It would obviously be some sort of a concerted attack uh, against both towers of the World Trade Center. This is the, again, we're going to show for the third time this tape of the, uh, of the airplane flying in and hitting the World Trade Center. This is slow-mo, slow motion, of the plane coming in and hitting the obscured second tower of the World Trade Center. And you can see flame coming out. And I can't see the plane coming down. You know, if it just Charlie, that is, that's a commercial-sized jet. That, is, that did not look like... No, that's a good-sized airplane, yes. Yeah, that is, that's not a, a little commuter plane. That was a good-sized jet. And I can't tell if it actually flew into the building or if it just... Uh, clipped it with a wing, and if it did, of course, then there's the frightening prospect that the plane would have crashed right in the streets of... ...from the first sight. I don't know if we can get the clamp camera in close or not. It doesn't mean that the smoke isn't still terrifying and deadly. Diane, I can see from here the orange flames. The, the fire has not gone out. In fact, it's, it looks as if it's encompassing a part of the building that was not initially part of the, the original explosion. I can see it moving over to the left side, which would be the east side of the, the first building, almost all the way over to the edge. The, the back side is totally enveloped in, in flames that I can see from here. Yes, it, with that kind of smoke, an awful lot of flame in there. And 